Hello everybody and welcome to Knaves World Farm Extended Episode 2. So as you can see we're just finishing off the harvest. We did start quite well last week and I've been doing a bit off screen as well. That has actually gone through the roof. Uh, but yes we need to finish off today. It won't take very long at all and then we're going to do a bit of baling because we're working towards being able to use the grain dryer. This is a function which is in this map. Yes, I know we're about to run out of diesel. Um, and yeah, basically, you can dry your grain and get more money for it. So, to do that, you need to obviously get the ingredients to do this. And I believe it's fuel and straw, I think. Uh, so, yeah, basically, we're going to bale a certain percentage of the field. Probably about 50%, maybe 40 Because we don't need heaps and heaps of bales, just a few. Now in this map, you can't just go straight to the yard and refill the tractor. It's not as simple as that. You need to retrieve the fuel yourself. So you need to buy a fuel bowser and obviously use a different tractor to then go and refill it from the fuel refill point. Then you can fill up the tanks in the yard. We're, we've only got 21 litres left, so I'm going to refill it in the field. We're going to go back for the class Axos, I think it is. We'll then buy a fuel bowser, fill it up to the top, then refill the tractor and then put the rest in the tank in the yard. As you can see, both the combines are full and waiting. There isn't much left to do, so it's going to be pretty easy today. Quite incredible, really. They have stopped, I would say, perfectly level with each other. And that was just a total coincidence. So as you can see, the Takano is leaving a swath of straw. The Dominator isn't. We have got them both working in this field today. Get the job done quickly. We'll unload the Dominator first of all. Get it out of the way. Yeah, I don't think I've ever run a tractor so dry before. <laughs> I suppose 19 litres isn't dry, but it's pretty low. Very low indeed. Right, this tractor, I mean this combine over here, sorry. Uh, it's, it's been another long day. This one is obviously the wrong way around, so we're going to have to reverse the trailer into the crop. It's something I hate doing, but we're going to have to do it. Wow, that dominator is so noisy. That's what you get with the old machinery. But really good sounds, that's for sure. And once that's done, I would say they should fit most of that into the next tank. I don't think they'll finish. But it's going to be close. With that done and out of the way, we'll park the tractor over here. Wow, it does go so quiet when we're not near the combines. 17 litres we have left. Really, really low. We'll switch the engine off, put the handbrake on just to make sure. And as we can teleport in this map, I'm going to go for this tractor. Yeah, basically I think the way I'm going to look at this is one map will be totally realistic, the other one will be semi-realistic. So I can teleport on a certain map, I can also crash into a gate, which I didn't want to do. And also, yeah, we can um, we can uh, keep Soul Mod on one of the maps, which is going to be Thornton Farm. Yes, it's the tractor with the lovely beacon, I love this beacon. It sounds weird, but that is a good beacon. The round ones, in my opinion, look so much better than the cylindrical ones. I don't think we do own a fuel bowser, so we have to buy one. This tractor also does have an hour meter. As you can see on the dashboard there, it says 0001. But really, we've got so much we can do again, because with the extended version, we have different fields to what we owned before. Most of them have crops in, so we can just go for it. We can just go and do a load of harvesting if we wanted to. We're not going to, because we need to do other stuff. We do need to focus on animals quite a bit. Um, but yes, we will be doing different crops on here. This map obviously is multi-fruit enabled, which is fantastic. Here we are. Let's go into the store. Miscellaneous. I'm going to go with the standard one. We don't need to go for any kind of modded thing. This works perfectly. And really, uh, it's a very good setup for the tractor. So regarding my frames per second loss on this map, a few people saying it's the processor, which would make sense because, yeah, my processor isn't the best, it's also pretty old. In fact, I'd probably say it's the oldest component in the computer. 
So that's not going to help matters. Um, the other thing which would be a very cheap fix is the quality, the graphics quality I've got the set to. Apparently if it's on the maximum quality it has to load the entire map. So it doesn't just load it in sections. When you just when you start the game up, everything is loaded. Every tree, every every asset for the map is there. So yes, if that is the case, I can understand why we've got a frame drop. Um, but I do want to keep the the videos as high a quality as possible. By that I mean having the most detail in the map. I will give it a go. I'll drop it slightly, see if it makes any difference. And if it does, then obviously that is the problem sorted. Um, is this the way to the fuel? I don't think it is. No, we have to you know, we have to go all the way down to pretty much the animal market, and that is right from here. So, yeah, see you in a second. It turns out it probably would have been easier to turn right out of the shop. I'm still getting used to the map. Um, you can, I believe, or was it here? When I did my first look video, somebody said that you could take the equipment through the water. A lot of people said it, so I'm guessing you can. I'm just trying to look, look at an area, but I don't know. I'm not too sure what everyone was looking at. I suppose there could be a section there. But, yeah, this is where the map really does get nice. This is a very picturesque area. And we should work down here more, actually. I will be doing. Next few episodes, we'll be uh, working in the lower half of the map, which is over here. Cattle grid. Something you take at speed. Not quite. Um, this is box number yellow. Mm, box number yellow. This is Manor Farm. This is another farm which we could own, but I don't think we do yet. We need to go to the pink section, which is where well, it registers as the lumber yard, um, but it's actually, I believe, the fuel station. I could have saved myself a lot of time here, couldn't I? I could have just gone right out of the shop and we'd be pretty much here. Oh well, at least we get a bit of a, a tour of the map again. Oh, look at this. I've already seen this before and already I'm still excited. Yeah, this is a really good area. But we're pretty much there now. Just turn left up here. Stay on the road, it does help. And is it up there? Uh, nope, down here. Yeah, if I was an actual worker on this farm, we would have probably been sacked by now because we've just wasted like 15 minutes. There is the pub, which we could actually take some of the grain to. I think they do accept it. And down here. On the right hand side is the fuel station. Right, so I'm guessing the refill trigger is just like a hidden one at the pump. Yep, yeah, that's good. And yeah, basically we should go straight back to the field. This is totally out of the way of where we need to be. Uh, just trying to think of the shortest way back. It might be, yeah. I think if we turn left at field number 82, head up past the stores again, go back that way, it would be quicker. I could have saved my lo myself a lot of time here. But, uh, yeah, I think it's nice to bring your fuel bowser to the to the uh, fuel station. I suppose in real life you'd have the tanker delivering straight to the farm because you'd have red diesel. Um, this is obviously white diesel. <laughs> so, yeah, a bit pricey. But there you go, that's just the way it is. And this can probably be the tractor designated to this job. It can always just haul this thing about. My guess is the Dominator has stopped, whether it's finished its area or if it's just got confused, I don't know. But the Takano is still going, so that's good, because that's the biggest combine. Oh, it's those flies again, yes. Those flies are not in front of my microphone. A few people did get a bit confused and they thought that a fly had buzzed in front of me without me realising, but no. That is a sound effect in the map. Yeah, there's the Dominator. Looks to have finished. Uh, the Takano I can't quite see at the moment. Here we are back at the Fent Tractor, which is desperately requiring this fuel. Yep, there's no hurry. There we go, look. I think they're finished actually, everyone is finished. 
Field complete. Right, okay. So we can refill. We can actually leave it doing that. And we will bring the Dominator over to the trailer. The thing about this Dominator is you don't actually have to take it, take the header off to bring it down the road. You probably should do, but I brought it here like this, and to be honest, it was okay. Yeah, it's quite loud. Um, but yeah, auger. And we should be able to unload straight into the trailer. I think there is space. Yeah, it's just 54% full, that trailer. So as you can see, there is a decent amount of straw, nothing too excessive. It has made a bit of a mess when it's been turning, but on the whole, uh, that shouldn't be any issue at all for our baler, which is powered by our John Deere tractor. I think it's the 7810. Right, so we'll put the auger in, we'll fold this combine up. I didn't think we'd use it again, but we have. It's actually very handy for these big fields. I think in future we're going to use it at the same time as the Takano. Right, is it done? I think that is done. So if we move this out of the way, we'll take everything back in a convoy. And there we go. And finally, the Itacano 340. Yeah, it's done a good job. It's actually done that very quickly. I'm impressed. Such a good view though from up here. That definitely won't fit. And if it does, it'll be very tight. That would be a tight squeeze. Amazingly, it did fit. That's incredible. So we'll take this tractor away first of all, and then I think we'll just take the rest all in one go. You can tell we've moved away from the Dominator. Uh, we'll turn right here. See how much we can get for this grain. I think the price should be quite good, really. It is only barley, but you know, I think it's okay. Oats is the thing to go for. Oats are incredible. I don't know why they're so expensive. I guess a lot of people love their porridge. Alright, let's tip this. Let's see how much we get. So does it all in one go? It should tell us the lump sum. Uh, but yeah, I'm holding out high hopes for this, although we have already sold quite a lot, so yeah, the price is going to drop, especially as we've just started a new hour. Uh, £14,051, that's not too bad, I'm happy with it. We're doing okay for money anyway, so it's, it's not really uh, a major issue how much we get. Uh, but the more we get, obviously the nicer it is, because we can buy bigger and better stuff, which we always want to do. Um, as for quad quad track, I was about to say quad bike, quite a size difference there, but no, as for quad track, I think we should get one. A lot of people say, oh no, don't get a quad track when I do, when I say that. Either that, or maybe a Zerion. I think a class Zerion is uh, a decent machine, although I don't know if there's going to be many in Dorset. Um, but the, the fields on this map do seem pretty big, and there's a lot of it as well, so a Zerion might not be too out of place. We'll have to see. Right, we need to take this down here. Oh, what a mess, yeah. I haven't sorted it out yet. That's for another day. We'll definitely sort it out before the end. I can't see that base, so I don't know if there's anything in there. Put it next to it, just in case. Nope, nothing there. Good. Okay. So we'll switch the engine off here. And transfer over to the combine. Need to put the auger in. put this on the header trailer. It's going to have to tow its own header, which we'll be doing, because I don't trust it. It's quite a hard header to get on there properly, even harder to get off, as you can see. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll stay on there. It's about to flop over the edge, I think. There's 
as long as it stays in place I'm happy. I can't lock it on, but actually it doesn't, it obviously doesn't look like it's on at all and it isn't, but I think really, as the physics of this game doing a bit of work, that does seem to be holding it in place. So I'm not complaining, that is good. Right, next thing in the convoy, Dominator. Because these Dominators know how to dominate. And they'll take over the road if they have to. It's going to be an issue actually, because yeah, they're going to, it's just going to plough through the traffic and it could become a bit of a nasty situation where the uh, combine just ploughs through everyone. But if that happens, we just have to get rid of the traffic. It is possible if you teleport to the other side of the map. Right, okay. Back into the Takano. Love this machine, it's so good. I can always tell if the Dominator is still following because you can see its wheels. And you can also hear it. And as we suspected, the Dominator didn't like it, so it's had to be reset. It decided to completely crash into the gate, so much so that it lifted itself onto the gate and it was balancing on both the gate posts. So, yes, it was not moving. And without constant ramming from the tractor, which I don't want to do, I don't think it was going anywhere. The next job of today is to just do that bit of bailing. And then I think tomorrow, uh, something I'd love to do actually, is try and take over Manor Farm which is that yellow box at the bottom there. If we can buy a few fields around it, then we can claim it as our own. Um, we can definitely afford those fields, so yeah, that is probably a good thing to do. We will expand the farm tomorrow, and we, yeah, because the money is available to us, we might as well spend it. But I mustn't forget to refill the yard's fuel tank, because having a static tank is obviously very handy. Oh, where can I put this? Yeah, this is why we need Manor Farm, because we've got more storage. I might just park it here for today, because tomorrow we can have a bit of a rearrange uh, if we do buy that farm. So, we'll put it here, switch the engine off, and move the Axos into the correct place. In fact, perfect. We can just reverse it straight in. It's a bit tight. Pull forward. Probably should take four wheel drive off. It was struggling a bit going up the track, so we have to put it on temporarily. And here we go, hopefully it works. Yes, good. <laughs> we should probably go a bit closer. Yeah, not every day that you are actually filling up the tank, you're usually obviously uh, either filling up a tractor or taking the fuel out the tank. So it's new for me. Love the idea though. Oh, the steering wheel is controlling my movements again and when that is done we'll put this away it might be quite a good idea to leave a bit in this so I would say about 40% can stay in our mobile tank we still got a lot in the other one if we need it there we go so yeah we'll turn it off there as well switch the beacon off I tend to forget and now we should run over to this field over here because ever since Naves World, the first version, I have left this tractor in this field. We used to own it, but now we don't. So technically, it's in somebody else's field. So we'll get this removed out of here. And of course, we've got the fantastic Mikhail, uh, I think it's the Fusion 3, baler by Samen. Samen's mods are always really good. Ah, it's another tractor which requires fuel. whoop de doo Oh well, we better do it. So yeah, this, this John Deere is a decent tractor. I do like it. Hopefully we can get in there. It's quite narrow. But yeah, that's fine. We probably won't fill it because we don't use it that often. So if we put half a tank in, that should be good. Put 200 litres in. There we 
we go, perfect. Right, so all we need to do now is head back over to the field. There's a lot of going to and from the field, I know, but yeah, once this is done, it's done. There we go. Oh, almost. <laughs> almost jackknifed. Well, I probably did actually. And as for the moving of the bales, I think we'll probably just leave them in there for now because we don't need them straight away. But when we do, I think we're just going to have to find a good area to stack them. Probably where we stacked the silage bales from last time. They're still here, so technically we can sell them. But we might use them as feed. We could just put a spike on the front of this tractor and move them that way. That would also work. Is that the right? No, wrong field. I'm going to head into some neighbour's field in a minute. Um, I wonder if we'll ever get to the stage. In fact, no, we probably won't. That's me being on positive again. But no, we probably won't actually buy every single field because that would take a lot of money. But it would be an amazing achievement if we did. And off we go. There's obviously a lot of bits here and there. I don't know why though, because I wasn't even doing it. But it has decided to drop a few bits. It's a lot quieter in the cab. I think, yeah, this tractor is sort of on the edge of the correct horsepower. It struggles a tiny amount, but on the whole it's, it's pretty good. Um, it, we can't really justify upgrading it just to power this baler, because it, it does the job. As long as wrapping switched off, I, I tend to forget that. Yeah, good. We don't want to be wrapping straw bales. Hmm, it did a 90 degree turn and then decided to whiz off that way. And it's picking up speed. Watch out motorists, you're about to be sidewiped by a bale. Oh, they actually are. It's still going and it's going so fast it's bouncing. That did not go to plan. Those motorists are not going to be happy. It's on the road. It's crossed the road. Why did the bell cross the road? Hmm. To escape Dagawin. Square bales probably would have been better, actually. That's uh, something we should invest in. A square baler. We, we do need one. And you stop there. They're very obedient, aren't they? They actually listen to you. What I've decided to do is create two bales and then drop them both at the top. Uh, not obviously facing down the hill because they'll both roll away together. Uh, but what I'm going to do is going to drop them the opposite way, which is not easy really because this field sort of slopes two ways. So it's pretty hard. But I'm going to try my best here to keep them in line. This time I didn't manage to create two bales, but come on, about that way, I hope. Yep. They've just got to sort of drop off slowly and then they stay in place. I'm going to have to put a wanted poster up saying, has anyone seen this bale? Oh no, I can see it. It's in field number 37. Hmm. Yes, that didn't really go to plan at all. Oh, stay there. Stay there. Right, good. That's two more drops. Pretty much done. Uh, there's no way I can really tidy up the bits which the combine has created. Like, I don't know why it's done it. Maybe it's because we uh, had to reverse into the crops a few times. That could have been the crop destruction. But yeah, it's dropped a few odd bits here and there, which is kind of weird. But if we get most of it, that's fine. So what's happened then? We've got a lot of bales in a funny direction, pointing in a funny direction. Uh, I think three have escaped in the end, which wasn't too good. But yeah, we've got, I think we've got ten, possibly eleven still in the field, which is okay. Uh, we haven't lost too many, but we shouldn't really lose any. It's not really the point. But there we go. Drop this one off the back, and we'll be done. Perfect. Okay then, so back to the yard and then we'll be done for today. So 
So tomorrow we're going to take over the yard, the Manor Farm yard, and we'll be able to transfer some vehicles over to there because this one is just way too cramped. Um, so yeah, things should really improve from tomorrow onwards. That is the plan anyway. But for this evening, let's just dump this. Well, not dump, but let's just park this over here. We should put it on the side of the road because we'll be moving it straight away tomorrow. But that is it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I will return tomorrow with another episode on Knaveswell Farm. I've just noticed, and that is highly embarrassing, that I have not put the front loader console on here. So that has been looking ridiculous all episode. But it's done now. Anyway, see you again soon. Bye for now.